Bowie Police Chief Matthew Gwynn says the shortage of officers statewide is a crisis, and he believes he has a fix. Chief Gwynn is also a state lawmaker and believes a bill he's proposing will help bring officers back to work. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff explains what Chief Gwynn believes is a major issue impacting officer retention. I'm seeing a lot of support by former law enforcement officers who would actually come back if this bill were to be successful. Roy Police Chief and State Lawmaker Matthew Gwynn knows all too well there's a shortage of police officers statewide. We have less people enrolling in the academy, right? We have less people graduating from the academy. And between 2011 and, and 2020, we know that 40% of those that even got jobs have, you know, left law enforcement. Chief Gwynn says here in Roy, they're down about 10% in patrol, which could affect response times in the event of an emergency. I do understand the labor shortage, and I understand that we're all fighting for candidates from the same employment pool. But the reality is, is cities and counties have an obligation above all else for providing public safety to their residents. He believes the problem dates back to 2011 when a bill passed by the legislature upped the number of years required for retirement from 20 to 25. It also added a cooling off period of a year before retirees could return to public service because of concerns about double dipping from public payrolls. We have people that actually want to maybe retire from law enforcement but they want to come back as a teacher, right? They enjoyed their environment as a school resource officer, and so then now they want to go in the classroom, and we're telling them that they, they can't do that. Gwynn tried to pass it last year, but it failed to get anywhere on Capitol Hill. He says his colleagues in the legislature are more supportive of this new proposal. Well, this bill has already moved farther than my last bill did. This bill goes back to a 20-year system and changes the one-year cooling off period to 60 days. And I'm looking to just roll those two back. And he says salary increases aren't enough to solve the problem. Now the state needs to step up and correct what it did, at least partially, in 2010. Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah.